a tribe. This is Emily Potter. I'm the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. And this is something that I've heard several times just recently that our tribe has said to me. So I wanted to do a live video about it. Do you feel lost in knowing what your next step is on your musical path? Well, the times that I have felt lost, it is so frustrating and so confusing. And some of the things that happens when I feel lost is that I feel really, really ignored or just forgotten by the universe. It feels like all of this, these gifts that I have inside of me, it can just go nowhere. It feels just stuck. And I feel unappreciated, if that's something that you've experienced too. Unappreciated because you would take action, but you just don't even know where to go next. So there's just that feeling of stuck and loss and confusion. Another thing, you might just feel that your energy, your energy and your motivation just spirals down because even though you have it all inside of you, you don't know where to go or where to put the energy. And so it just your energy just spirals downward and you could sink into some depression and just life feels really unfulfilling. So this is something very important to address in our tribe. So if this is something that you've experienced, I want you to listen and I wanna let you know that if you're in that place that the feeling lost, those feelings of feeling lost is serving you, then by all means keep doing it until you feel complete. I say that because there's a lot of lessons to be made and to be had in that time, in that space of feeling lost. You're, you're experiencing the contrast of life because we know what it feels like to have that, that arrow pointing and, and taking action in that way. But if you're in a place of feeling lost, there's adventure there as well. That inner work adventure of who am I in this space? Do I still find myself knowing what it feels like to be in gratitude and in love and in joy in this space. So if you're in those spaces, do it, do the work. For everyone else who knows that they're done with that, go get pen and paper because we're about to get to work. This is gonna be a lot of fun for you because I'm gonna show you right now what's available to you right now for you to then get your own answers of what the next step is. This is that prompting and that catalyst for you to get encouraged and feel the sparks happen inside of you. So go get pen and paper and or a laptop so you can make notes happen because this is for those who are sick of having that excuse of feeling lost and you feel like you, you you deserve to have that that momentum happen forward so here we go you have your pen and paper here we go if you're just watching the recording of this push pause and go get ready because you're done you're done having the lost experience and I'm going to show you right now what's available to you so that you can make that momentum happen okay tribe my experience of feeling lost Boy, do I know that one. What I've found though, is that there is a gem always right in front of me. Even though I feel lost, there's always something right in front of me. And sometimes it's just a tiny little drop of water. And I acknowledge if that's where you're at, boy, gosh, I know this one really, really well. Even if it feels like there is nothing, nothing, you, do, you have no idea where to go next. My experience of life is that there's always one step. There's one little gem right in front of you. And I'm going to show you that you have, I think I have like eight, eight gems right now that I have made available to you in this tribe for you to know where to go next so that you don't have to feel lost anymore. And the reason before I even go into what I have just available to you in this tribe I want you to know that this is then something that you can expand into other parts of your life as well, wherever you're feeling lost, that there is most likely one to eight different possibilities, one to 10, one to a million, I don't care, I'm gonna start with seven or eight. You have one to seven different possibilities right in front of you, and it takes just that breath to, to be able to see it and to say, I'm ready to, to go, Forward. So expand what I'm saying now because I'm going to, I'm going to be just staying within the tribe of what I, I'm going to be sharing with you what you can do as an action step. But then take this and apply this to other parts of your life and say, 
that the experience of feeling lost is something that I'm feeling complete about and I'm ready now to look what's right in front of me. So here you go. In our tribe, I have set up several things for you to be successful in knowing the next step. And it's just now your opportunity to take the opportunity and to take action in the opportunity. Why I have you write down pen and paper is be have pen and paper with you is because there's going to be something that I say if you're seriously taking this to heart that you're going to want to write down. Even if it has nothing to do with what I'm saying, I want you to at least have the pen and paper because that's the gem in front of you. As I, you're getting some kind of message or inspiration to know where to go next. So you're showing the universe I'm ready and I'm primed and I'm prepared to receive my inspiration. So here we are. In our tribe, I've set up three dedicated days. Tuesdays. If you are someone who has immense amount of self-judgment, self-criticism, perfectionism. I have set up and dedicated Tuesdays for our imperfectly perfect open mic. Are you taking advantage of that? Because it is set up for you to expand and blast through all of those insecurities and that self-judgment so that you are on the stage of being vulnerable and saying, I'm sick of having my self-judgments get in my way. So are you taking advantage of the open mics on Tuesday? That's a place to start. You see where your limitation is and you see how to overcome it. That is the next step on your musical path. Number two, on Wednesdays, you have the opportunity to participate in our tribe member spotlight. Are you someone who's afraid of being in front of the crowd? Do you have stage fright? Are you afraid of having people look at you? I have given you the opportunity on Wednesdays to be in front of our, our tribe and have the light on you and to share your heart and to practice being vulnerable. If that's a place that you struggle with, that is the next step. That is the place to overcome. And you have the opportunity now to have that be a practice that you do right here in our tribe. On Thursdays, if you are someone who has been in a band or, or an entertainer, so you want to now get deeper into the music medicine of who you are and connect to that spiritual knowingness of your gift. I have dedicated Thursdays to be the Earth Song Day. Now what this means is that you are practicing creating your space in a ceremony. So you have the opportunity to sing songs to the earth, to allow yourself to get into that ceremonial space as a light worker, a gift of your music to us for and in behalf of the earth. It's a place to start. It's a place to practice being the light worker that you are. Try it out. See if that feels good to you. This is especially for those who are ready to be more of that light worker. You're just getting to know who you are as a light worker. Go outside. It's something that we all have in, in common that we are of the earth. Go outside and maybe write a song for the earth if you've never done that before or sing to the earth just from your heart whatever's coming up and then share with us what that is, what is coming up for you in that light and that connection with the earth. Those are three dedicated days. Now, it doesn't stop there, tribe. If you go into the announcements, you have a free gift being offered to you for those of you who want to expand your online audience. I'm giving you a gift of a, of a file there, a PDF file. It's full, totally free. You might as well just take it. It's free for those of you who want to know how to, in a professional way, expand your online audience. So go to the announcements and download that for yourself. Another, if that's where you feel stuck is I don't know how to get my audiences, I don't know how to build my audience, there is a place to go right here in the tribe and it's free. And then for those of you who are ready to connect with other people in your state or nearby, we have the Lightworker, the official Lightworker Musicians Tribe map. Have you gotten yourself on the map yet? It's also in the announcements. This is a way for you to connect with the people that are near you. And we're just starting to build that up. So people are just starting to get to know that that's there. But it's a way that we get to know each other and, and to connect to like-mindedness in this tribe who lives near you. Okay, did I say them all? I did not. We have two more for you. This is really exciting. I knew 
this would connect to someone out there who doesn't even know about all the resources available to you in this tribe. But even if it's not in this tribe, I want, want, want you to say here again that the things that I'm saying to you right now, this is just right here. And yet this same, this same energy is available in other parts of your life too. So if none of these apply to you, that's still, it's the principle that you have things available to you, the little gems that are right in front of you, that life has just dropped in front of you, where you don't actually have to feel as lost as you are, if you are complete with that, that experience. The next one in our tribe, if you are looking to collaborate, and that's somewhere that it would stretch you, and you want to have that experience, we have a tribe sister, as many of you know, who has spearheaded that collaboration effort that you can connect if you're a songwriter, you can connect with musicians who have the music and you have the, the lyrics or the lyrics and the music, however you want to do that. She's spearheading that and, and, and putting people together to create original music right here in the tribe. So I can give that to you if you like who that is. And you can do that effort. And then, as I say at every single time, those of you who are deeply ready, and only when you're ready, to take everything that you are to the next level, especially those who are saying, okay, I know that I'm a, I have music medicine in, inside of me, and I'm so tired of the nine to five job that's suffocating my soul, and I'm ready to liberate myself, and I'm ready to go the distance, then you are ready for mentorship. And I only take people who are actually very, very serious and it's very energetically, vibrationally matched. You will know if I get to be your mentor. And for those who know that I get to be your mentor, then you are invited to reach out to me. And we get one-on-one -on -one into all of your limitations, all of your barriers, all of the things that are keeping you stuck and get you to the other side to actually live the dream that you came here to do on earth. That's a lot available to you. Now, even if anything that I said doesn't resonate with you, perhaps you had some sort of inspired thought that took you another direction. And thank goodness. The, the key to this is that there is something right in front of you. Even if, I want to say this, this is actually a very serious thing. Even if nothing feels like it's there at all, none of those action steps feels good. That is your direction to trust. What is it that you're learning? What is, it, what is it that the universe wants you to learn right now before taking any action? You probably get to learn something, as I have many times, that there is gratitude in that moment because that's a very, very strong, high vibrational place to be. Can you actually do the practice and the inner spiritual work of having gratitude no matter where you are on the path? And feeling lost is a really good place to practice that. It's a good one. So there's always the next step, always the next step. So I know that you know it. I know that you do not have to feel stuck or lost for very long if you choose not to. So for those of you, again, I want to extend the invitation. For those of you who are ready to go to the next level in your, in your musical journey and you are serious, private message me. We're going to get you the skill set to be able to be a full-time world traveling musician. If that's your dream and you're ready to do it and say yes and go the distance and do whatever it takes to get that dream now in 2019, I look forward to seeing you on my calendar. And for everyone else, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy all of the benefits of being part of this tribe. Thank you for the ways that you're showing up and supporting each other. Let's continue to do that. It creates a very, very nourishing environment for each one of us. And I will talk to you in the next video. Lots of love to you.